I will try to make an approximate snapshot of the situation in Russia for our listeners to have a general imag imagination when it started in Russia and how and what's going on there now. In order to understand the basic pr principles of the fight against COVID, I will start start from healthcare system. Next slide, please. So currently in Russia, there is free for public service uh, to universal access healthcare system. This assistance is based on obligated medical insurance deductions to which are formed from the salary of working citizens and permanent and legally working foreign citizens. For holders of obligatory medical insurance, medical care at all levels is free of charge from primary and emergency care uh, to scheduled and high tech care. In parallel with the public healthcare system, especially in the last 10, 15 years, the private healthcare system uh, have growing rapidly. And public healthcare system has like primary health posts, health centers, urban polyclinics, and specialized medical hospitals. Next slide, please. So uh, in today's Russian Federation, there are three fully functioning healthcare systems, municipal, state, and private, and which concerns to the medical care to, to immigrants. Uh, shortly, the system of obligatory health insurance and free assistance is available for permanently residing and working foreign nationals. Temporarily residing citizens are strongly advised to contract private medical insurance. In many ways, the system is quite similar to the model of Western, Western countries, which concerns to illegally residing people. Emergency aid is, of course, free of charge, but after the assistance, different charges for the hospital stays can be demanded, as well as the, at the discharge from the hospital right at the door, the police for the deportation will be waiting for. The hospital must notify to them. Answering the initial question for the treatment of COVID, who pays? Uh, pays the state, but citizens also have the alternative go to private uh, medical facilities, mainly for tests, for additional imaging investigations, etc. Before, when, when we were grabbing, uh, the, the cure started to, to decrease, to decline and uh, there were uh, reg they registered about uh, 48, 28, 28 ca new cases daily. But now, unfortunately, starting from September 2, a new wave of growth begins. Today, today uh, I guess 65, 95 new cases were reported. The same happens with with tumor uh, with mortality. Uh, it has an interesting pattern with dropping off every fifth, sixth day, and a few months before there could be noticed that tendency of decline with 110, 130 cases per day. Uh, now, from the beginning of September, numbers are rising, and today, 149 new deaths were reported. Some more news on September. Uh, schools reopened uh, 1st of September. As always, there are implemented the principles of disinfection and mask regimen, more or less similar to that uh, in the world. Small classes, disinfection. And the second news is the creator of Russian miracle drug, Alec TV which claims that it is a magic drug, a miracle, with 98% efficacy. Well, internationally, everybody, uh, and in Russia also, everybody is speaking about Russian vaccine Sputnik V. It entered uh, the third stage of the clinical trial, and they plan to end it in the, at the end of 2022. Here are headlines of scientific news, and I strongly recommend that people who is watching this program read the polemics between international scientists and vaccine creators. And on this note of hope that with the international efforts of the medical community, we will be able to stop the coronavirus infection. I give you the world, Jordi. Thank you.